In the next few lessons, we'll learn how to navigate collections, volumes, and titles. Let's begin with collections. Select a collection, such as the Law Journal Library, from the Hein Online Welcome page by clicking the library name. Once inside a collection, users have several methods of switching to a different collection. First, you can use the Hein Online Home button on the top left side of any screen to return to the Welcome page, where a different collection can be selected. Second, you could use the breadcrumb trail and click Collections to return to the welcome page. Next, you can click the collection name, highlighted in gold, from the top left side of the screen. This will produce a drop-down menu of other available collections. Let's try clicking on the Law Journal Library. Once inside a collection, browse the list of titles using the A to Z title index. Use the Browse options at the top of each page to browse within subcollections or to use special tools. You can also search using the main search bar, which is stationary at the top of each page in Hein Online. Click Search Help for assistance in forming a search query. Note that access to the Citation, Catalog, and Case Law search options remain available and stationary on all pages. Now let's learn how to search within a collection. You can perform a full text search across all text and metadata in a collection using its tab on the stationary search bar. Click Advanced Search to expand search options to include search fields, pre-selected titles, subjects, or a date range. Note that when clicking Advanced Search from within any collection, the search fields change based on the type of material contained within the collection. For example, the Law Journal Library will have article title and author, whereas the U.S. Code will have the title number and edition. Let's try it. There was a beloved contracts professor at Stetson Law School who passed away, and several tributes were written to honor him. Let's see if we can find them. His name was Calvin Kunzel, so we'll start by typing Kunzel into the text field. Then click on the Select Titles option. We know that we're looking for articles in the Stetson Law Review, so begin to type in Stetson and see if it pops up. There it is. We know we're only looking for articles, so let's uncheck everything else and select Articles Only. Then click Search. You'll notice that search results will display in the center of the page, with facets to the left. Options, including an instant PDF download button, print download options, the ability to email a direct PDF of the item to anyone, including non-subscribers, and save to My Hine appear to the right, along with scholar check information. On our results screen, we can see that in the Milestones and Memories article, Professor Kunzel is mentioned. Let's turn to that page. And now, we've found the tributes in the footnote. Now, if we scroll through the table of contents, we can see each tribute. This one, Socrates, Ulcers, and Cal Kunzel, is a pretty good reflection of most student memories of this remarkable man. One more thought. If a collection has its own citation navigator, this can be found using the Citation Search tab. Click Citation, then choose Citation Navigator. Entering the first few letters of the citation will cause a drop-down menu of corresponding citations to appear. Finally, you can also click Citation Format Guide for an A to Z title index and a list of citation formats. Now that we know how to navigate through collections, let's tackle volumes and titles.